Fox, Luna in the jungle, Zanzara from Vega Squadron in the mid lane, Kira. We all know him from Albus Knox, Luna. The ADC will be Lex from Gambit Gaming and their support, Edward from Vega Squadron. Yeah, Kira, the 1v1 god, didn't actually make it work, but representing Team Fire, it is going to be the LJL Japan region. Top lane is going to be Evi from 7th Heaven, Jungle Tussle from Rampage, mid Seros from Detonation Focus Me, AD Carry Heretti from Unsold Stuff Gaming, great name, and support Dara from Rampage. And this is a 1v1 versus the guy I was really repping the last tournament. He was Kira. He did so well in the 1v1 tournament. Carried his team to All-Stars on his back by himself. Disappointed me when I hyped him up so much yesterday. However, Seros, I'm all the way behind him. So he needs to prove his metal, prove his worth against Kira. And he will take uh, take that mantle over. And I'll be fully behind Seros for the rest of the tournament. Yeah, and it's not just Seros and Kira anymore. It's the entire team getting behind them, potentially mm -hmm. playing champions that they may not excel in. <laughs> This is one of the things I actually spoke about with the Oceanic team. Picking champions like Cassiopeia, which is available and very strong, mm -hmm. is really difficult to do because you have to be good at the Cassiopeia and only one role plays it. And that yeah. could be where the problems start to begin, uh, uh, genuinely start. You can't just pick up Cass and be like, ah, I'm just gonna, it's fine, I can just do this strategy. You know, you have to hit skill shots, you have to play it in a way that is actually effective. So despite the champion being good, you may not see it. Um, so remember, no bans. We can do whatever we want. And where do the teams want to go? Have they got a strategy? Or are they actually going to all just go to pick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the interesting thing here is it's lottery pick. And so you can all commit to something or you could all pick for different things and just kind of see what happens. But we've seen what the CIS Whoa. team wants to be. Okay, is this a preempt of an Ezreal pickup? Yeah, I actually had this conversation. Uh, Funnily enough, with the Oceanic team, again, they played against the CIS region, which is how they have all this information and wealth of knowledge there. Uh, the Yasuo was okay into Ezreal, but the second the wind wall's down, you can all just go forwards. Yeah. It just need to keep count, effectively, of those wind walls. However, the Japanese side have directly counted a Yasuo. Wow, all right, Jarvan coming in for the Japanese lineup. <laughs> Where is your wind wall now, CIS? Where is How it? How useful is it now? <laughs> because Dragon Strike will go through the wind wall because it's not a projectile. That has to be one of the scariest things that you'd ever see. The second it's locked in and you know your opponent's champion to yeah. be the Yasuo and to see the Jarvan. Right now, Edward turning behind him. Can we remake? Is that, is that <laughs> a possibility? Lag. It's got to be lag. Did not want the Yasuo. So, um, so yeah, so now Yasuo, the Yasuo squad, playing without one of their spells. Um, you actually just wouldn't put a point in there now, right? Because it doesn't affect your um, your passive anymore, so... I mean, like, the only time that I would consider putting a point into it is actually for minions, perhaps, for yeah. early laning, if you're a solo laner or something like that. Jungle has the utility, I suppose, with it there, where yeah, you can use it to... Taking objectives. Yeah, exactly. Taking yeah. dragons, taking barons. So you get one point, I'd say level eight win wall, maybe. Mm. There's going to be an, uh, the Anivia thing, where you really just want to put your points into Q and E, but... Generally, you max out E anyway, because you get like 20 damage from a level up in uh, in Q anyway, so... Yeah, you can, uh, you can actually max both as well with the Yasuo's. Uh, Jarvan, interestingly enough, the flag is an AoE, right? So yes. perhaps there's one Jarvan, like the support Jarvan, that maxes the E. I don't know if it changes mm. the amount. Could be the cooldown. So uh, either way, it's damage. Useful. So maybe he goes AP. There's a, a cheesy AP Jarvan. AP Jarvan build that you can go. Um, but of course, the ultimate is AoE now, so that's something to keep in mind as well. So the Astros do not want to group up, but either way, guys, jump on Twitter, vote at LOL Esports using the hashtags CISWIN and JPNWIN. Lock in your votes for who you think is going to reign supreme in this one-for-all matchup, Yasuo versus Jarvan. My money's on the Jarvans. I find personally. it hard to not go for the Jarvans when you look at the champion matchup, mm -hmm. but Yasuo, always a skill matchup. Every single Yasuo matchup becomes skill if he can outplay you in some way, dodge the flag and drag, get out of the ultimate by using the dash at the right time. There's chances for it. You can also go the Frozen Mallet Phantom Dancer build so that you can reduce damage done and be sticky. It's just so hard to do against the Jarvan. I'm just scared. If I was up against a, a lineup of Jarvans, I don't want to get hit by the, the quick Venn diagram. Everyone dog powers on you with a cataclysm. Yeah, Jarvan one ult, you dash out of it, and Jarvan two ults. Yeah. And you're just stuck again anyway. Exactly. If you, if anyone groups up, any two Yasuo's are next to each other, then the Jarvan's are going to come in, and both of them are going to get completely obliterated. 
So, need to be careful of that. Meanwhile, on the other side, any knock-up lands onto the AoE. So, name of the game, don't group up, because you're going to be hit by some pretty big ultimates from both teams. Absolutely. Very dangerous prospect. Yasuo jungle, also actually quite good. Another thing that I stupidly play because it just isn't meta. Uh -huh. You can... <laughs> Having this shield very handy, especially when you get to different camps, is... Look, that was a pretty good start. I still like this from Zanzare. He's the only one going Courage of the Colossus, so he's the designated tank of this team. Meanwhile, triple tanks coming in from fire. That's actually interesting. It's just like, ah, okay. Um, we're gonna just get to the point where the Astros just can't kill us. Um, it's not as manly as I would have liked. I want everyone to go full AD. Also, special credit has to be given to Edward and Lex committing to the double relic shield. One of the only ways that a bottom lane 2v2 will start to shine, whereas the opposition side of the LJL hasn't gone for it. Personally, I'm sad, because it means you're not farm sharing. One yeah. of them will get far less gold. Yeah, double relic is just good uh, for early laning. Um, with the extra regeneration as well, pretty much just in every aspect. So Every Mordekaiser player knows this, and yeah. Atlas. And Atlas. He knows this. <laughs> So if you're at home and you want to play a double melee lane, then just go for the Relic Shield. It's good. Yeah, DM Atlas for tips. <laughs> He's got you. Saros is being pushed in. That's a big wave. It's too big. He needs to show some respects. Yeah, Kira is just jumping in. Should be able to pick up most of these minions, though. They're not uh, too heavily damaged. The back wave in pretty much perfect place. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't actually hit the low health minions a little earlier. Yeah, I think he was preparing them with the cannon to cue it. So yeah, either uh, way, he will get them. So a nice start for the Yasuo's. This isn't really where the problems are, however, for them. It's the level 6 point, the items that come through, all of the raw AD that can come out of these Jarvans will absolutely ruin their lives. The problem is Yasuo has to hit a skill shot or just dash in, but they're jumping onto Dara first off. Lex exhaust Hereti standing in front of Dara. And we'll get tagged up by the tornado just at the very end. Saras jumping onto Kira in the 1v1. Low on mana, though. Kira, not a mana user, so it's not in the most horrible of situations. The really Sussle well timed, though. Was trying to come in there. Ward over the wall. We'll see the enemy jungler. Jarvan really is a dirty tactic. That's yeah, great. That's what I would do, for sure. Also, Smurf definitely has, like, all attack speed runes. I feel like he's got a 27% attack speed page or something. Look how quick this man cues. He's the ADC. He's, he's played a lot of Yasuo. He has. Let's see how it works out for him. If he actually does go for an ADC ball, because that could be quite interesting. Ah, targets now for the bot lane. So actually going all in on this one. Yeah. Hmm. Not against it. No, I'm not against it either. Typically when you go for the double relic shield start, you just keep at the relic shield and then you go for the rest of your items. Um, okay, one step further. Double face of the mountain doesn't seem like a bad thing to me, though. Not at all, and even just leaving it at that, like one of them can get the side stone yeah. upgrade, perhaps, and eventually you can sell. Kira. <laughs> there you go. Can Jarvan's jump to other Jarvan flags? I think so. I don't know if the, the coding is different on Summoner's Rift yeah. to the one for all snowdown map, mm -hmm. but you definitely should be able to. Who knows? Cause it was Let's a, just find out. There was a change a while ago where uh, you can have two flags down as a single Jarvan. And you can jump to both of those, so I'm going to say you can. But we'll, we will find out in this game for sure. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't, there's some serious problems. <laughs> yeah. And it's really just waiting at this point for uh, the game to get rolling. And we're just waiting for those level sixes really from both teams. Uh, Yasuo is really not suffering because laning phase is fine. But it's at that level 6 mark where we'll see the sparks fly. Yeah, it's it's around the level, I'd say 7, because 6 is the most important part, having the extra part of your burst, but also by the time you recall, get all the long swords and things start to really open up for your Jarvan-based team. Mm. They will yell to Marcia a lot after that point. Like, a lot. Hang on, what are we doing on skins this game? Did all the Jarvans go vanilla? They're, they're all base, I think, yeah. Wow. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Is base. it all project as well? No, they, I definitely saw a high noon Yasuo. Yeah, it's in top lane. Yeah, Smurf. So I don't know what the strategy is there necessarily. I mean, the synergy bot lane because you had the two project skins. Could be different animation colors and stuff, you know? Okay. Now, Blood Moon's arguably the best one. 
for throwing out your tornadoes. But I think in general, don't you all want to be the same skin so you can mask which Yasuo is doing what? Because uh, that was the thing with Ezreal, right? Like, you don't know which Arcane uh, or which Two Shot Barrage is going to hit you harder. <laughs> so That's true, but they're also global ultimates from the Ezreal. I yeah. guess in comparison, the Yasuo has to be like within range anyway. Right. That makes sense. And you can put names on, so you'll know it's Edward throwing it, and he's the support, so it should do less. But in a team fight, are you really able to just read their name? It's just like, ah, yes, Edward here hit me harder than uh, than Lex. It's just like, no, it. there's like 17 tornadoes flying towards you. <laughs> Someone's ulting, and it's just like, I don't want it. Ah. I can't speak for everybody, but I think I can watch names. I'm trying to remember if I do. Yeah. Uh, let's just go with yes. But it's not a it's not a standard thing, I suppose. I just don't think I'll be able to trust myself when so much is going on. Xander, he's back on the second clear now. He's doing quite well for himself. Yeah, the Astro jungle, not, not too shabby. And of course, Java can jungle for himself. Not a top tier jungler anymore. Had uh, armor shaved off his Damashian standard. Kind of gutted him. Took AD off him as well. So, also hurt him. Oh, well, there he Here is. Here's, here's the old. Poking. He's still following after. Xander was looking for the gank, but he's good to go for now. Zanzar also going for his armor boots as the immediate item purchase. Not a bad decision against all of these Jarvans as he's now looking for Tussle. And is definitely in kill range oh, no. of Tussle. Double, double buff on Zanzar at flash. Tussle. Nice flash timing. He was waiting on that tornado. Heretti coming down with his fellow oh! Damasians. Here comes the ultimate, Damasia. Lex <laughs> hit the floor. There is no escaping from this Japanese jungle. <laughs> the amount of Demacia that just dropped down actually blocks half of the Javans off, <laughs> but still does enough damage, so they do get the kills, and this is the start. Potentially the beginning of the end for the Yasuos. We are heading down the darkest timeline here. Rusty Edward, he's under tower, but there's not many ultimates available. Tussle, he did use his in the last engagement. I believe they went to the same flag, but here's the combo, the, uh, the flag and the drag, and the kill. Ready. Mid late, Saras locking Kira, but he's not quite under tower. Good exhaust. Now being followed after. Whoa, Kira. He's got the charge Q. Nice sidestep. Jumps into Saras. Takes one more tower shot. Maybe another one after oh, this. Nah, he's he's, oh, that was a little closer. He is Zandra. quite alright. Heading in there. There's the wind walls. Evie from the sideline slaps him with his spear. Now oh going down, God. Dara, his it's last job remaining. Here's the ultimate in from Lex, trying to find Tussle. There's another one. Heretti is so, so dead. Under the wrap <laughs> of the Samurais, finishing him off. And I guess the biggest difference here is if they don't all have the Javan ultimates available, they don't actually have the same amount of kill threat onto Yasuo's, who have consistent damage to output and mobility to put in place, such as this. The Smurf made a slight error, but he's still going. He's just hanging but out. That's the extent of his combo for now. There were no more Yasuos, insufficient Yasuos to finish off Dara. Uh, but there was a decent amount of damage on that bot lane tower, so LCL will take that to the bank. And the CIS region need this game. Uh, if they lose it, they are out. So very important for them. So many teams riding on both of them. <laughs> Edward. Ooh. There was two flags, so we can't confirm or deny how it works yeah. just yet. Three total on the same spot. As they worked in unison, pretty much simultaneous flag and drag. So they're saying go at the same time, at least. And this is the thing, that flash on Zanzara works. The wind wall not necessary, but he has it, so you may as well use it. Yep. Same thing applies there. And Lex, it's the armor boots. It's like, at this stage in the game, they are tanky enough that they dodge most of the spells from a Jarvan but they can actually clean this stuff up because there is no ultimates. No one's gonna die. Just realize that if you hit like two or three Jarvans, you can keep them suspended if you have multiple Yasuas around for like 10 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Follow the ult with another ult. They will never hit the ground. I wanna see that happen. Kira, mid lane, still farming away. We typically don't look at the CS too much, but uh, he does have that slight advantage against Seros. In top lane, Evi is Bringing it down upon Smurf. So, so he's looking for this gang no in top minions. lane. He does have Cataclysm. Kira's gonna jump in. There's the ultimate. It won't be the kill, but he'll get a nice bit of harassment damage down. And a return damage from Thunderlords from Dragon Strike will even up the damage. Tosso's coming in, he does have his ultimate. There's the knock up as well, landing. Cataclysm oh, 1, Cataclysm flashed 2, it. flashed away from! That is what you can do against Jarvan, however. That is definitely the one thing that they do have going for them, is that you can flash and avoid the damage. That would have definitely killed Kira. <laughs> Didn't have his exhaust. 
But now both summoners are down and Fire decide not to push that middle lane, so they give Kira an opportunity to stay. And Tussle Ganking is not going to be as effective without his ultimate to gap close. However, if Dara and Hereti are both there with theirs, Ooh, does timing. it matter? Good timing for the ward there from Edward. We'll see the control ward plop down. This is the lane I wouldn't dive, <laughs> just for reference. Significantly more tanky. Yeah, it is a Barmy Cinder on Edward. <laughs> and armor boots on Lex. Yeah, don't want to dive that one. However, if you have, I would say critical mass of Jarvins are around like four uh, for the ultimates of just like one-shotting someone. I think Once you can dive. blades and stuff like that, if yeah. they choose that build, it'd be even three, perhaps. <laughs> oh, they stopped him. That was good. How exciting. <laughs> <laughs> the extent of uh, Jarvan Yato interactions. <laughs> um, it is a knock-up buff. Like, yeah, last yeah. game was skill shots. It was Ezreal Corky trying to hit their stuff. This game's all about who can knock the other team up. This is the Bouncy Castle 1v1. And Evie. There's four of them. This is the critical mass you were talking about. Here we go, Evie. He's jumping in. In comes Tussle. Doesn't get the knock-up, but they are doing quite a lot of damage regardless of that. Here come the Cataclysms. There's the second one. That's the third, the fourth. Lex finds a double knock-up, but he's in the middle of too many Jarvins. Seros following after Zanzara, who was attempting to save his team, but he does have the backup of Yasuo number two. Seros, where's he going? Well, probably a trip oh. back to base. Oh. It's one of capacity, but it's more ultimates coming in from the oh Cataclysm. God, the Venn diagram comes up. Uh, and Yasuo, yeah, so something's <laughs> happening here, but I believe the Germans have won. Zandra following Evie to his demise. And, and Smurf's, Smurf's up top lane. He's, uh, he's taken tower. <laughs> <laughs> he has teleported fresh. Smurf could have joined them. Oh, oh now he's coming. Oh, he's looking yeah, for the highlight real play. Here he's, here he's going. Yeah, Tussle's dead. All right, he needs to find the second the one. The turret didn't fall. <laughs> Oh no, Evie's getting away, but he's flashing, he wants this, oh, no. he wants the oh, double, oh, uh, he wants uh, to uh, pad the scoreline, uh, so he looks like the best Yasuo on the team. Edward steals it, good man. So, uh, <laughs> that happened, a lot of fighting happened, we get to watch it all again, we'll do our absolute best to decipher this, and it all starts with Hereti tanking the turret, because the minions hadn't reset. Lex plays this reasonably well, he stays out of range and tries to stack up his Q, but ends up going the other way, so Edward flashes well and dies. And then Lex does the best he can to hold on. Seros finds Zanzara, who tries to win while the combo that doesn't work like that. And then Seros realizes he's far too deep because Zanzara is the one with the red buff. So he suicides. However. But he doesn't <laughs> because there's a lot of stuff that happens very quickly. Uh, it is hard to keep track, but both Yasuo's did ult off the uh, knockup, so Zanzara does well to get out. Played well. Zanzara actually showing he's a decent Yasuo player. Can't beat auto attacks though. Shout outs to the observers for slowing down to 0.25 speed there to uh, help us l actually lock down what was happening. <laughs> Basically, they pressed all of their buttons extremely quickly and stuff happened. So, are you telling me, Rusty, if you were shoved in that situation as a player, you'd be able to recognize everything that was happening there? In that? I've no okay. If I played thousands of one for all games, maybe. All right. <laughs> this is an entirely different ballpark where we're looking at right now. Can confirm. Uh, do we have any variation in builds here? I know there is some on the LCL side. Um, we have the Sunfire Cape, of course, from Edward. He is, he is the tank. Yeah, they'll um, all still go to crit, but they prioritizing armor boots. Xandra has gone Courage of the Colossus, remember? So he is also uh, a tank. Oh, no. Good luck, Smurf. This will have to be very much a hero play. Slammed against the floor. Zandra coming in. Here's some knockup. Saras also joining oh, the mosh God. pit. In comes Hereti. There's flags everywhere. There's <laughs> spears. There's dragon strikes. There's Edward not wanting any of this. Three for one trade. What is happening? <laughs> this is fantastic. They all simultaneously flag and drag. <laughs> there was three of them that hit three angles. Like there's no escaping the knockup. <laughs> <laughs> it's dirty. Edward! The Yasuo Whoa, is mate. trying to run the equation. Is there any any angle I can take that I'm not going to get hit by a flag and drag? The answer is no. <laughs> so many flags and drags. <laughs> it, it's so much of a mess I can't see if you can jump to another German's flag. It hasn't really become a, a situation yeah, where It's really not it. clear, is it, at no. the end of, end of this? But I would just love for like one German to toss down their flag and everyone to jump to it, to uh, jump to an objective. I feel like if they all dash through it, it'll reset from being angry. <laughs> we'll see. 
Jarvins, I think they know. Yeah. And it's... Ah, oh, they don't... They have the plant there to reveal, but they didn't go for it. I mean, it doesn't matter too party. much in the end. No. I made a great band named Samurai Party. Would it? What kind of... Samurai Party? Yeah, I don't know. Well, speaking of, this is definitely uh, a party. I don't think there's many Samurais, because they're all dying. You can ult, by the way, as Jarvan through Yasuo's ult, so you can stop the knockout, oh. I should say. There's a good preventative measure, perhaps, when you come to team fights, as, as oh. if nothing is... <laughs> oh, no, Kira... Oh, he's ignited. He has to go in with the ultimate. And Fai will plop back down and be quite happy that they picked up a kill on Kira. Not quite the Shinigami he was last tournament. Good awareness, though, from Kira to, to see the Ignite in time to ult. Yeah. Won't save him. Hello, that was friend. the dash. Don't dash through the Javan or he ults. That's rule number one. How's it going, Smurf? Oh. Not too well. Does get the knocker. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah. Well, he's a tank top Jarvan. <laughs> is he? Is he one of... No, he's not a tank. Evy. Oh, uh, I thought you were talking about Smurf. Yeah, Evy is the, uh, the tank top. He's yeah. gone for the Ravenous Hydra, though, so... Converting that into damage now. Yeah, Dead Man's Plate, I think, will be where he goes next. This is interesting. Yeah. Heretti is committed to being an AD Jarvan. Seros has decided that he's going to complement his team with the Black Cleaver. I like that they haven't gone for a lot of them. Mm. And also, conveniently enough, Dara has received most of the golden kills, so the support still has items. Oh, whoa, whoa, It's happening. Whoa. It's not happening. Calm Sandra. down. Yeah, just chill out. Had the courage of the Colossus, but no Yasuo's to engage in the battle. Edward has been revealed here. Um, in terms of lethality and how the items have changed, not seeing any of these Jarvins or even the Yasuo's go for like the Ghost Blade and the Dusk Blades anymore. I feel like there's a chance here that the Yasuo's win this simply because of the item choices of the Jarvins. Hmm. They're matching tankiness with tankiness. I think Yasuo's sustain damage actually starts to outmatch in the end. Then again, Jarvan hits Q. Everyone dies. That's true. The, the shred is nice yeah. into all of the ultimates, all the cataclysms. And it is AoE as well, which they also have that going for them. So I guess it's just who AoE is better. In the yeah. end, I think the Jarvan should have just went full AD, except for maybe two of them. That could have been tanks such as Evi and Dara. Top lane. 1v1 of the century. Evi, nice interrupt from Smurf onto Evi's flag and drag. Not sure if that's going to help, though. Ah, oh, Tussle, he interrupts the 1v1. That was a what battle of honor. There was also five guys coming up through the river, so they now go back mid. <laughs> the army of Jarvins <laughs> yelling to Marcia at everyone they see. Watching just Jarvins run together just looks absurd. What? Edward knocked on the wall. In the air, this is just a complete <laughs> so Venn confused. diagram bouncing, <laughs> bouncing. I don't know what's going. I don't know what's going on anymore. Zandra, nice knocker. Oh, are you thinking about going back in? But the flag and drag will knock him up as well. Five for one. That was an ace. I <laughs> and you know what we got from this pulse? They all went to one flag. <laughs> they did. We finally worked we, it out. It was safe. It Nothing else matters there. LJL obviously winning the fight quite convincingly. Maybe in time to get something done, such as another objective. Looking quite good. That was a cluster of just nonsense. There are no real words to describe that one. Uh, unfortunately, Jarvans don't push very fast. So, I don't think they took any objectives. You can see what their strategy is, though, as well. If they all get a random and zoom, and the crit-based champions will do less and less. Of course, we do get to see this one again. Okay. Edward kicks it off by wanting to be aggressive. There's a three on three, so he's effectively distracting them. So Yasuo's go in. They all go in one after the other, and they're actually all just standing on top of each other as a result of this, where the Jarvans say, come at me, I am still a Jarvan. And Evi is actually a pretty big deal. We will see the flag and drag here at the end on Zanzar. One flag. Three drags. Good to know. Confirmed. That was like the best way to finish off the final kill as well. It does feel satisfying, yeah. like, as a Jarvan player and even as a viewer of a Jarvan to watch them hit the knockup mm. aspect of it. Up you go. And of course, you can uh, flag, drag, and then flash if you get the timing right. That's hard. For the knockup. It is hard. Same thing with Yasuo Tornado as well. We need to do the Airblade, but we're going to have another Fiesta in the jungle. Dara chasing down Edward. The flash over the wall will be the disengage, and the flags are all that remain of that battle. 
Uh, except that they don't. All right, here we go. The first flag and drag. Seros is the initiator, despite being the damage dealer. Dara jumping in. He finds knock on onto Kira. How many Cataclysms do we have available? Oh. We're about to find out. That's a big knock on onto oh. Freeze, but that's cancelled. Cataclysms go in. And Seros finds a kill onto Smurf. This is a complete disaster for the samurai lineup. Edward is trying to juke. <laughs> he's trying to dodge. He's zipping. He's zagging. But Dara will be there to follow after. And the rest of the jumps will find their quarry. Five and zero. The ace for Japan. Another big fight for the Japanese side, the Javans. And this is going to continue to happen. I've actually... I think we've worked out what beats the Yasuo's, and that is them all ulting the same target. They yeah. can't do that, they have to spread it out. They can't stand next to each other at any moment or they die. And because every time we've seen them fight now, the Jarvans are all getting knocked around, but they're all tanky Jarvans with their soon-to-be randoins anyway. The second the knock-ups end, they all just die. When everyone pushes their buttons, the Jarvan will always come out on top because they have the combo breaker with their ultimates, but we can see that again. And this, this is what looks good. Yeah, and like Smurf hits a nice knockup, it's followed up by the rest of the team and interrupts the flag and drags. But watch all of this. All of the ultimates are suspended in air for so long and they all just say, nah, huh? <laughs> like, nah, bro. <laughs> just get out. All three of the Jarvans ulted at the same time to get out. They all just like mash the in their R key. <laughs> <laughs> And of course it interrupts knock-up, so there's no further ultimates available or interrupts available. Jarvins will get their ults off. And all of the slows, all of the flag and drags. Poor Edward. There was nothing left. No. His team was dead. He got to see all his brothers in arms. Really is cataclysm. Aptly named. <laughs> Very much is. Very much the case when you have five of them coming down on you. Zanzara. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oof. Dara for a support. Legendary. Yeah, he's he's having a good game. Yeah, 20 out of the 23 kills as well he's been involved in. Maybe he should move to top lane. Uh, Lex. Okay, saving the dash, but I'm not sure that's gonna save him. Evi knocked up in the oh air, God. here's the chain. But unfortunately, the Astros just don't have enough damage now. No. <laughs> Cataclysms have entered the arena, ladies and gentlemen. Bring your walls down. There we go. All right, Kira. Oh, and Dara out. gets it as well. You can actually hear the LJL <laughs> team behind us yelling their hearts out, really enjoying this Javan game in one for all. And it feels like they've got the CIS team matched. More than matched, honestly, in this game. And this is, everyone's hopes are riding on Japan, bringing this win home. Zanzara trying his, uh, trying his best, but CIS, they need this win. If they don't, they are out. Which is not what I was expecting from this lineup. Tussle so happy. All right, we get to watch so it happy. again. Again, just do your best to decipher everyone at home what the heck you're watching. Of course, you can see this part. This all makes sense. And then Heredi comes in, and then people start ulting off the back of Lex's Q. So one by one, the Yasuo's go in. And after the ults are all said and done, Jarvins. Then it's like, all right, I guess it's our turn. And about six flags and seven drags, and a, a whole lot of cataclysms are there. It's like they need rock climbing shoes almost to get across all of the Javan ultimates. And Kira just dies. I mean, he's 2 7. He's not having a great game. As a mid laner playing Yasuo, you expect better things. Unfortunate, but I mean, I can't expect things against a Javan. No, honestly. And it's actually the support, as you correctly mentioned, Dara, who is the best Javan currently on the lineup, has not even died. He just had a perfect game. Um, who's the best Yasuo? Probably I Zanzara, I guess. You'd have to say Zanzara. Uh, Smurf looks fine. He's just not grouping up as much. Yeah. Edward looked OK. I don't know if there's a outright best. I'd say maybe Zanzara. Yeah. There's a big discrepancy now in terms of gold. And you can clearly see the Jarvans are winning by virtue of being Jarvan. And it really was going back to champion select. Where are the Inability Frozen Mallets to too. remake? That's where they went wrong. Phantom Dancers, Frozen yeah. Mallets. Don't go Static Ship. Or pick a Jarvan to duel. Yeah. And oh, when you can. Seriously, about Phantom Dancers. Yeah. Reduce the damage of the Jarvans. They're building tanky. Like, it's beginning. The beginning of the Cataclysm. Armageddon. Oh. Is approaching. Oh, that is the collective term. Yeah. Edward knocked up. He's knocked up again. Maybe knocked up a third time, but this is 
the Armageddon oh, of Cataclysms. But it's returned what by the Yasuo Ultimate. Everyone's what? getting involved. But after all of that, it's the Germans who come out on top. Five for zero, ace for Japan. Every single Javan's alive. Oh, no. Those poor Yasuo's. There was nothing left for them. That was disgusting. Bonk, bonk, bonk. <laughs> Team Fire. LJL finish off the Nexus in style. Jovan reign supreme, slaying the Samurais of CIS. And as an end result, we have worked out that Jovan is in fact greater than Yasuo. I want to see more Jovan. That's what I've learned from this game. Jovan.